or restricted persons and delegates of this virus. Honestly speaking, I am a little bit overwhelmed by the meticulous arrangement, by the things you do here to get the message from people of India to the young men and women who really can change this world and we need them very badly. But how this gap will be filled? The masses in India, they don't have scientific background, they do not know what is water pollution, what could be fecal coliform bacteria, what is biochemical de demand of oxygen for water. And unless they know this, they are not, they don't know what they are doing. But the tradition in our country is to respect rivers and Gangaji is one such river which is very very special for all of us, millions in our country believe that she is the provider of the four goals of life, Dharmartha Kam Moksha. Dharma, Arth, Kaam and Moksha. Having come to this world, all, us, all of us have this, these goals to fulfill. And the tradition says that Gangaji is able to provide Bhakti and Mukti, well-being in this world and salvation when we leave this world. She is the designated best use of water which is used in science. That is how clean that water body should be and how clean a river should be. Then the one thing which comes at what is the designated best use of this water. So this water, Ganga Jal and Ganga, she is the, uh, she provides, she actually um, gives us the, um, the, what we need in this world and she is the provider of uh, the life to say if you take the 400 million people living in this river basin then these people need fresh water they depend upon the fresh water of this river system and today she is receiving about 114 cities sewage directly from her banks into the river, into her. And the believers, they say that she is our mother. We can't be separated from her. And in a way, I represent that embodiment of that suffering. I am a believer and I can't severe my relationship with the mother. I will be with her and I know I have a little scientific background also. I have been professor of civil engineering 
Banaras Sindhu University and I have a loving, caring, committed heart of a devotee, devotee who believes in God. So these two faculties, I think, are needed to take care of the problems of our Mother Earth and that is what is needed for taking care of our Mother River, Gangaji. So, a combination of both this is required to take care of this, otherwise training Gangaji is being tried from 1986 and before that we started when I was young and my hairs were black, I started and today all of the hairs are white and I am still working, working enthusiastically, working with resilience and working with, I am just putting the pressure in whatever way that is possible to solve this problem and to show a result at least in one city which was chosen also in 1986 as the most important city where the river should be cleaned first. About 60,000 direct users are there who go to Gangaji every day on the ghats of Varanasi and in these 60,000 people there are some I would say five, six thousand people even today for whom Gangaji is medium of life, they cannot be separated from that river and their body is like all of us, all our bodies. So if they take along with Ganga jal, the pollution, the harmful thing, things which, are, which come from the point sources, there are sewers which open into the river and believe me, come to Varanasi, about 36 open sewers and sewer outfalls, they discharge the city's whole sewage into the river where these people for whom the best designated use of Bhoginga water is Dharas Bharas Majjana Arupana They want to have darshan of the mother They want to touch her They want to dip their body into her waters They want to sip that water That is the designated best use And if this is the designated best use Then I would ask Central Pollution Control Board or WHO or any organization because I have that advantage that I have a rationally trained mind and I have a commitment and faith I am not going to leave my mother and I can't believe that nothing is happening to her so something has to be done so I would ask that what could be the what could be the parameters what could be the standards for such a river where which is used as for darshan, for touching, for dipping the body and for sipping that water. I think there are no standards in the whole world for such a uh, water body. And the only thing which can work is that stop all these sewers all these point sources which carry 95% of the pollution and this can be stopped in say five years if we just decide if the nation has a desire if there is a political will this is not a as engineer I am saying that this is not a difficult problem this is just to stop all these sewers which are flowing in Varanasi and not only in Varanasi, 114 cities and each of these cities have a population of more than 100,000 people. So imagine if all this 
waste, human waste, excreta is coming into the, that water. And people are, the masses, the believers say that she is our mother. We can't. As fish cannot be separated from water, they also cannot be separated from, from Ganga ji. I having all that technical background, I know what is pollution. I know what could be the harm of the, what could cause waterborne disease, what could cause other dangerous diseases. I have suffered, I have polio, I have, I have suffered from typhoid, and I have suffered, suffered from jaundice. And still I am saying that this is possible. We are working a team of, luckily we have a good team in Varanasi. All of us have scientific background and all of us have that commitment to take care of the river and ourselves and our tradition. But if the sewage continues to flow into the river, I think there is not much time left now. The quantity is increasing every day. And there will be a day when these, I say that I am one of the endangered species of human being. Please, you are taking care of the endangered species of birds, animals, trees. This is a case of an endangered culture, a tradition. The tradition means if there are no practitioners, if all these believers die, if those 5,000 people who cannot be pulled out of away from Gangaji, if they die, then what will be that tradition left and what will, what will be the meaning of this country? So this is actually the problem. And in Gandhiji's Ramraj concept, the, that in um, Sri Ramchandri's Raj, Sarita Sakal Bhavai Parvai, Sheetal Amal Swad Sukhtari All the rivers, not only Ganga All the rivers were having Barbari, I think the translation is potable water And its quality is Sheetal Amal Amal is pollution free, so it is one quality We are trying for one thing Sheetal Amal the, the thermal power plants the atomic thermal power plant at Narora, it discharges water. It increases the temperature of water. We know how much increases, but is it reported? Does anybody know? And what will be the harm of that few degrees centigrade increase in the water temperature? So this is, that is this, Sarita Sakal Bahani Bhadavari Sita the water should be cool, amal, swar, it should be tasty, and sukhatari, it should give us happiness. So this was what was done, or we believe that it was done sometime, and Kandiji at least very clearly have said that he wants Ram Raj in this country. So I think Ram Raj will be when at least the river should be clean, and the beginning should be, uh, has been done and rightly done for Gangaji. And now there is a situation. We have been asked this question when, that all right, what is your alternative? If you are saying that sewage pumps and the sewers and all this that is not working if the electricity fails and it fails every day, so what would be the solution? We said that gravity could be the driving force. That all the sewage come up to the lowest point, carry it through a watertight pipe. By gravity it will go to the other end of the city and have an engineered natural system for treatment. What could be that engineered natural system? That also we researched. And we said that it could be a own system. I was hearing about algae and that the power of that algae. So it's a, we suggest 
that in our country a non-electrical system and as much the treatment also use as less electricity as possible can only work. The other solutions which have been tried so far, they have shown their result. We then, when we challenge that what is the alternative to optimism, then we started the research and we came to this conclusion that the interception and diversion is the primary thing. You have to stop this water, bad water coming to the river somehow and if that is done, 95% of the problem will be removed. Then what will you do with that water? We said that we can treat it and we have found out the land also downstream of Varanasi which is a waste land and we have that system, uh, that pond system. We have worked with people of the University of California, Berkeley and we have taken that technology so that is our little research and that is our little innovation. Government says that this has not been tried such a pond system. I can I said that in a tropical country like India, this is, this is going to be successful. The whole system was presented about 13 years ago. For 13 years, it has been, it has been scrutinized, it has been discussed in many panels, many governments have come and so no decision has been set, taken up so far. Now the decision is under some good decision is going to take place. So that is helpful. So we started acting as a catalytic agent. We then worked as watchdogs. Then when the situation demanded, we worked as experts. We are not politicians, but we have helped our municipal corporation corporators. So they have understood the whole thing. It took a lot of time for, from us. But we explained, they said that this is the system we want. So today what I feel is that if government of India wants, if it can involve people, if it can involve local community, and if the local community needs some, uh, some expert help, then let the local community suggest the solution. Let it come from them. And let it be acceptable to them and this could be successful. So finally this government, I am happy that they have said, all right, we make a pilot plant in Varanasi of that pond system. We will try to try that technology in, uh, for this country. So we are waiting for the final orders. We now probably at this stage, I can't be a builder. I can't be a construction company. And our team of experts, they are good people. They don't have money, they don't have support, uh, but they have commitment and they are going to persist. We are persistent and resilient in our effort and this has taken so much time and now there is a situation when the government is saying finally that all right this technological uh, treatment could be tried in India and Varanasi on a priority basis. And after that, then the question is how you are going to stop that sewage um, uh, going into the river. Then we said that now it is the, uh, in India we have perfected this tunnel technology. So we will make a, um, a sewer, underground sewer, watertight and all the sewage will be received there and by gravity it will be taken to the treatment plant. So this is the little work we are doing. We are fully optimist, we know the limitations, we are not impractical, but we are uh, at this age also we are just with enthusiasm we are working ahead and now it is for all of this country to think how rivers could be clean and the experiment has started in Varanasi on a priority basis and this should be now uh, let us see what the result is. Now we will be helping the builders. So many hats we have changed in these 27 years, 28 years, and now we are at this point, we are a little bit happy 
but this has to be done and shown to the people. A model has to be set up in Varanasi that how can the rivers could be freed from the city's sewage pollution and the industrial pollution. This is my work. Thank you so much.